Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about podcasting on here and on Instagram and I haven't done a whole video about that, but make sure to let me know if you would like me to by leaving this video a thumbs up and maybe I'll go a little bit more in depth. But for now, what I wanted to talk about, because this is definitely my number one question and like the number one question that I see across podcast forums and Twitter and everything is how do you get those video waveform kind of graphics that you use to promote your podcast episodes? So that is a great question and the answer is actually surprisingly really, really easy. And I also found out that you can do a lot more than just waveforms with this tool. So the tool is called Headliner, it's Headliner app and it's completely free which is unbelievable because podcasting kind of is not that cheap. You have to like buy your microphone, you gotta buy your software for like recording and stuff. You gotta buy hosting for it. It's kind of like a little bit more expensive than YouTube in my opinion. So it's cool that Headliner is totally free. And like I said, not only can you do the podcast waveforms and all that, which are awesome on its own, but you can also do short little videos. Um, so like teaser videos to YouTube videos or teaser videos to your podcast or even just videos. If you're a social media manager like I am, making quick little videos for your clients or your company that you work for um, to promote blog posts or to promote services or whatever it is, it's amazing, seriously. I do want to thank Headliner. They're the sponsor of today's video and uh, I'm excited because uh, I don't take sponsors, especially for this series, Freelance Friday, unless it's a service or product that I really, really believe in and I was using Headliner before they even reached out to me so I think that uh, well, I know that I love it. I don't think I love it. I know I love it. And actually, you know what would be really cool is if you tag me and Headliner app, why don't you tag us both in any creations that you come up with? I would love to see them like on Twitter or Instagram. So I'll leave my handles and their handles down in the description box as well. Okay, so here is my dashboard. As you can see, I have a bunch of projects that I've completed for season two of the podcast already. And I'm really lazy with my titles. So excuse untitled project. But anyway, I will give you a run through of which features I use in Headliner, which are really these two and then this one. This is a new beta feature. So the audiogram wizard is probably what a lot of you guys are here for. I get a ton of questions on how I make these waveforms or audiograms, which so look this like this. Is an audiogram. You've seen videos like these on social media. It's basically just an image with a waveform or an audiogram, whatever you want to call it, and some words over top. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's super easy. First thing you do is choose your audio file, and then you'll want to make sure that your transcription language is correct, and you can turn this on or off. Then you'll just click on next, and then you will want to choose 10 minutes or less of audio for the preview. So I'm going to scrub through really quick and find, uh, I like to keep these for myself, like under a minute. So that way I can just share them on Twitter, Instagram, works well on all the platforms. Another cool feature that you can do is you can click on one of these and it will size it or trim your clip um, depending on which platform you want to post to. Next, similar to that, you'll also be able to choose the aspect ratio. So you'll be able to choose exactly which platform you want this to go on. So I usually start with a landscape um, so that I can upload this to my YouTube end card and also to my Twitter and Facebook feeds. You can also do um, square, which is obviously for Instagram and portrait. And I'll show you guys how to copy this. So I always start with this and then I copy it over to these. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Click on next. Then you can choose, I really like, which one do I like? Wave bars? and round bars. So whatever, you just choose, I think I like line too. Yeah, I like line too. Um, you can drag this or you can just choose what to do with it, you know, where you wanna put it. You can also change the color. So first, before I do that, I'm gonna add a background image. Once you add your background image, you can crop it. I literally hate that my feet are in this picture. <laughs> so I like hate feet so much. So I'm gonna crop my feet out and you can move this around however you would like. Okay, so my feet are pretty much covered up, so that's good. And then, yeah, like I said, you can change the color of the waveform. Um, I'm gonna make it stand out, so I guess I'll do white. Oh, this covers up my feet even better. Let's do this one. So yeah, and then, um, do I want black? Maybe I'll do like a grayish color. Okay, and then you'll just click on Create Project. So this is really, really cool, because as you can see, it transcribed my audio clip. So, you can change these and I probably will um, need to. You'll see some some of them sometimes are like not 
quite perfect just because of the way that I speak or whatever, but they're pretty freaking dead on, which is cool. If we wanna click on style here, this will give us the option to change the look of these captions. So you can change the font, you can give them animations, and then you can also do like all these different things here. Yeah, so you can change any of this stuff that you want and just Sounds move really it around. I love how they actually capitalize Wild Wild West. The transcription is that good. More so than just traditional social media marketing. I think I'm gonna change this. I don't really like how this looks together though. I think I'm gonna do the blocky one. This one is pretty cool because it's like nice and big. Um, and then you can also customize it so it's a little smaller if you wanted. And then like you can even do like, let's do the captions over here. Like, you don't need to do them at the bottom either. Like, I think this actually might look a little better because it looks a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A little crowded down at the bottom. And I think a lot of people, when they're first getting started with influencer marketing in particular. They so I'm going to cut it right at like a day later. So all that you have to do to cut is just drag. So then you'll just go ahead and click on export. You can also add an outro. So I like to export these at 1080p and I did record an outro. I just made this by myself, you know, in my editing program. So it doesn't just abruptly end. So you can just add any type of um, MP4 file, video file, whatever you want. So, you know, I could get on camera if I want and say, hey, thanks for checking out the preview, whatever you wanna do, it's pretty cool. And then you don't have to actually edit it together. Like Headliner does it for you. You can do the same thing with an intro if you wanted. So then you'll just click on export and then you're gonna get an email notification once it's ready. And it will also show up in your um, Headliner dashboard. And so this is really what it looks nice like. That it pops up on my phone. And it's perfect. So, yeah. I've got so let's go back to Headliner. I'm going to show you some other cool things that you can do with this. That's just how I do my podcast graphics. Now, you can also click on copy right here and you can choose a different format. So like I'll copy it to the square format. And as you can see, they're both there. And as you can see, I do this like semi often and you'll just like adjust because it's going to just reformat things into a square, as you can see. So it's really nice. Like I said, it so my phone. like I might just want to adjust my text just a little bit. I think I'm just going to make it a tad bit smaller just so it doesn't look so smushed. Um, but pretty much beyond that, like it's good to go. So this is just awesome. I've been loving it for so Instagram really nice. stories, also for Instagram TV. Since it's the 1080 by 1920 format instead of the traditional, sometimes that's just a pain to resize in your editing program. So this is really nice because it's just super easy, one click. And we'll go over the full episode in detail with you guys because it's pretty much the same thing. It's just that you can do a maximum of two hours. So this is perfect if you just upload your content straight to YouTube. I thought about doing that. So I was doing this for a while, but I don't really do it anymore. But pretty much the same process. Again, this is a beta feature um, that I actually haven't tried yet, but I'm gonna show you how to go straight to the editor and do some really cool things. So I'll just do um, landscape, I guess, for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, so you can do several different things. So let's click on the plus sign. This is basically just giving you a blank slate. So if you wanna start with audio, you can do that. So just click the plus sign, drag you and drop your audio. Same thing here. I'm just gonna use this Instagram time limit selector and let's just start it here. That looks like I'm saying something interesting. And then you can add different media types here. So if I wanted to do a video, I could, like if I had my own filmed video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the library that is here for you. Yes, this is super cool. So there's images, so I can search for like, let's just say, I don't even know what I'm talking about in this clip. Um, I think I'm talking about phone apps. So I can search for iPhone and there's all these like images that come up that I could use. Let's look at videos though. Let's see if there's anything. Yep, there sure are. So these are all stock um, videos pulled from um, Pixabay, I believe it is. Yeah, Pixabay, which is a great resource for social media managers as well. Um, but so these are all Creative Commons, you know, royalty free videos that you can use. So I am just going to play around and show you guys some of the different things that you can do. Let's go ahead. Um, this is giving you a preview of what it's going to look like here. And then you can um, do different transitions to like, let's just say, um, this is gonna look a little crazy because I'm just trying to show you the cool features, but slide up and I'll dissolve it out. I don't want any of the video audio, so I'm gonna just drag that all the way down. Just click add to video, I'll show you what it looks like. 
Okay, so my latest obsession is... Okay, do you see? Isn't that so cool? Okay, so let's keep going with it. Um, I'll go ahead and press plus sign. And for this one, I think I'm going to upload a little bit of myself since I'm talking. So again, this has audio, so I'm going to drag this all the way down. I don't want to have any type of um, dissolve or anything like that, so I'm just going to keep it at cut, which should just be like a jump cut. So I'll click add. Latest obsession is an app called Darkroom, and this is so you can you can see how it goes here like let's just say like camera because i'm talking about dark room and then again like you're having the text here which automatically pulls in which is so cool so uh you can just you know i noticed a couple of little tweaks that i needed to make to it i did not like how this faded out so if you want to change anything or like if i wanted to shorten it all you got to just click on the clip and then i am going to just make this a cut all right so let's try it one more time Okay, so my latest obsession is an app called Darkroom, and this is a very cool photo editing app. This goes on for a really long time, as you can see, so I can just drag it if I just want a quick, you know, image of a camera, and then I can just keep going on splicing, you know, B-roll footage of myself along with stock video. You can add photos, like if you just want it to be static. You can do so many different things. Um, again, you can change the text style. So if I want this to be like really big, you can do so much with it. Honestly, you guys, you could edit a whole vlog on here. I know I get a lot of questions on my channel about how to edit videos without, you know, I use Final Cut um, for my main video editing. And, you know, a lot of people have PCs or they just, you know, Final Cut is a pretty expensive program. So I get questions all the time on how to edit videos. Honestly, you could edit a whole vlog on here. And perfect for social media videos like this, honestly. And again, like Instagram stories or Instagram TV, all I have to do is make a copy. Um, I can do it right in here. Just click on these different formats here, make a copy, and I'll just show you an Instagram story size or IGTV size, and it's sized right there for you. It's been a game changer for me. I try to do at least one of these per episode. I don't always get to it, but I do try, and it's just been really awesome for me. The last thing I want to say here is in your dashboard, you'll also be able to re-download. So like if I wanted to go back and see, I'll show you guys a couple of my finished ones. Actually, these might be tests, but hopefully this will. Okay, yeah, here's one. Okay, I love this one. So I did this with Annalisa. This was for my Instagram um, story. You know how when you I thought it turned out really cute. to do something, you get like that. I don't even know the feeling. So this was just a static, you know, a static image, um, nothing too crazy, but I could have easily spliced in stock footage, stock videos to go with that. But I just thought that picture of her was really cute and it's, you know, spoke for itself. So anyway, that is Headliner. I think it's such a great tool. I hope you guys will check it out. There'll be a link in the description box. And uh, yeah, thanks to Headliner for sponsoring this video. I hope it was helpful. I get questions about this all the time. And uh, yeah. Time to see my face again. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Make sure to tag both of us in your creations. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Comment down below, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys next time in a new episode of Freelance Friday. Bye.